Lawrence was very popular with the Bedouins because he uh, imitated their own ways. He lived with them as one of them. And he ate the food they ate. He rode the camels as they rode distances as much as they did. Uh, so they liked him. They admired him. They uh, thought that he was their friend. I think that he assumed too much in saying that Aqaba was captured by his plans and by his own designs. The expedition went, to my mind, its ordinary course of, uh, tribal, of a tribal raid. And this tribal raid reached Aqaba. I will not deny Lawrence's share, but I will not give him, really, to be fair to others, I will not give him all the credit. I think just uh, imagination. He imagined. He imagined this. I, th I don't know what was his motive, either to glorify himself uh, much, much more, or uh, to inflict some damage on himself by uh, stating that he, he, he uh, went uh, uh, into a lot uh, of uh, torment. He was very keen that the Arabs get to Damascus first because he wanted them to have a claim. He was with them that entering Damascus was important. And if they enter Damascus first, they will have a good claim in the peace discussions afterwards. Lawrence was a man of legend. He was a complex man. Uh, sometimes he put himself as a very ordinary and very poor and very small man. And sometimes he inflated his image to, to an unbelievable uh, size. He wanted Great Britain to declare itself on the side of Arab independence. He wanted to gain Arab independence, and he trusted the, the British, and he wanted to take a promise from them. They believed the promise. They believed it. They believed in the uh, good word of Great Britain, and of course, that encouraged them to, to rise. The blame and tolerance may be he gave promises in the name of Great Britain. So the blame to him was a personal blame personal blame, that you, you, uh, you, you were not honest with us. He was a British officer, serving his country. But of course, he has his own idea of serving his country. Damascus is a great city from old, old days. And it was also the center of the uh, a group of nationalists who originally thought of the revolt. The Arabs believed especially in the word of a Great Britain. They, they, you know, uh, the, the word of a Great Britain was uh, uh, greatly respected. He was helping the Arabs, he was fighting with them, he was doing his best for them because, you know, it was, to me, it is so clear and it is so plain because if the Arabs win, it will be the, a help for the British Empire in its uh, war effort. I think that Dara was an invention. It never happened to my, to my own research, to my mind. I went myself to Dara later on and I met people and I spent two nights in the Quran around Dara. And I am convinced he never went to Dara. It never happened. It was an invention. Lowell Thomas started the legend of Lawrence. He was the man, he, as you know, he's an American uh, uh, propagandist. And he made, he started the legend. But the Arabs believed and still believe that Great Britain honestly promised that it will, it will recognize a united and independent Arab state in the East.
Faisal believed that Lawrence was a good friend to the Arabs. But he knew Faisal was a statesman. He knew that uh, Lawrence was an employee, employee by his government. So he, is, uh, he shouldn't be blamed because he, he is not the government. 